Welcome back. Who or what is Crazy Johnny Norton? Uh, some gibbering lunatic wailing travelers near Prim. Apparently he's something of a sneaky bastard, but I doubt he'll be too tough for someone who knows what they're doing. Sne is that me? Do I know what I'm doing? Here's his report, and let me get that money from you. No! Oh, wait. Oh, he already took it. Shoot. Well, now we're committed. Now we must do it. it it's, the bounty hunting never ends. It's right. It never ends. Uh, Jonathan Crazy Johnny Norton. The client is Ryan O'Neill. If we're going to get Prim back on the road to prosperity and peace, we need to clear these outlaws from the area. Some lunatic named Johnny Norton moved his gang into that old drive-in theater outside of town. Apparently Johnny here is so batshit crazy the fiends kicked his spastic ass out of Vault 3. Let that sink in. Ooh, we got excommunicated from the fiends. You gotta really screw up to get, to get kicked out of the fiends. You gotta, like, not eat people? And you have to have a basic respect for human life? To Prim! Because... None of the three sheriffs there could handle it. They do have a lot of sheriffs there, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Deputy Beagle, Prim Slim, Myers. Deputy Beagle ain't much of a sheriff, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it isn't the jerk that brought Law back to Prim, I think I owe you one. I'm pretty sure we killed you once already. Let's get this shit started. And then that shit ended. Yeah. All right. Prim is a new sheriff. I should keep the powder gangers away. Didn't keep that one away. He's right <laughs> over there. He, you just let him in. I, I mean, Pollock's not much of a painter, but I wouldn't say he's that much of a threat to society. He probably left, honestly. After his magnum opus billboard. Oh, is Pollock still here? I, I guess they are still hanging around. Oh, they're painting washed off, so now they want to do it again, do they? Oh. <laughs> you would speculate oh. he might be it, but... Oh, new, per new crazy person. Huh. That's an old keyboard. <laughs> kind of surprised that there's an old QWERTY keyboard here. What? Could be Cyrillic, you don't know. Why is it backwards? Why is the number pad <laughs> on the left side of the keyboard? It's a left-handed keyboard. I, uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Hey. Oh my god, James? I didn't think I'd ever see you again. You remember me, yes? I lived next door when you were a little kid. You're much larger than you were last time around. It, it's a bit surprising. Because I cut your throat out and burned your bones. But here you are. Uh, yes, hello, I am James, I hang out with Jesse, and we try to steal Pikachu. Where's your Wobbuffet? No, that's Jesse. Jesse has a Wobbuffet. I don't have a Wobbuffet. Oh, Wait, I, I, don't, it, I don't know. I haven't watched Pokemon in so fucking long. I, I, I'm a Gen 1 what do I know? Everywhere I go, east or north or up or down, I'm followed by a wind of invisible voices. They're just a little dead voice in a living body. Well, you're obviously insane. Why? Because of what I do and say. When the first man looked into the first microscope, he saw living things so small and insignificant that we lacked the ability to, to even see them. Germ theory! Did we call him a madman and string him up for the crows? Everyone knows about it now. It's one of the facts of life. I think we set him on fire. But they say I'm insane for proposing the opposite. Oh yes, it's all true though. I've seen it in my dreams. You're there, with me. You, me, the air, the ground, the water, all of it. It's just one grain of sand stuck to the eye of a sleeping god, and when he wakes, we all die. But you already know this, because I've told you before. We'll do this all again, over and over, again and again, forever. Ah, uh, you know what? Ah, uh, let's just kill him. We'll do this again, you know. Will we? <gasps> <gasps> Will we do it again, Johnny? Cause you're a pile of ash now, Help and me. I'm gonna rub my face in it, and then you will be the moat of dust in the eye of a sleeping god. What if the Legion headhunters followed us in here? They get lit up by Tully and everyone. Yeah, they they get killed by a small child. <laughs> oh yeah. I would laugh. Not if I got killed by a small child. If I got killed by a small child, I would be very angry and confused, but I would also be dead, so I guess I wouldn't be angry and confused anymore. Yeah, she's... But if a small child killed a Legion headhunter, then I would laugh. What if she's a Legion mole? No, why would they, why would they do that? The Legion hates children and they hate women. Exactly, so we'd never suspect. Yeah, but they wouldn't do that, though. There's a zero possibility that they would do that. But that just means that if they did do it, we'd never see it coming. I guess, but that's also like saying, yeah, if an elephant just flew out of the sky and took a shit on my head, that would, I would never have seen that coming. What an analogy that is. Tully. Welcome back. 
I am ready for another tier one contract. Yeah, 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 like, what? No, you're not. Go finish up the contract you've already taken. Oh, okay. Well, we've completed the contract. So, was he as crazy as the name suggests? Wait, never mind. I just realized I don't care about some dead asshole. Yep, me neither. Good work, and here's your money. Next one! Yay, money! Welcome back. Uh, who the hell is Patrick Basebreaker? I was told this guy has the fastest fists in Reno, which... Whatever, I got a shotgun. Yeah, that name in that town. I was pretty sure it was a porn thing. Oh. Apparently he's actually just a boxing cheat. That'll probably make him marginally more dangerous, but I'm sure you can shoot him. I guess he hangs out in a sewer because he's a fucking weirdo, and fucking weird people enjoy sewers. Why do they all hang out in the sewer? Happy hunting. Why do they always hang out in the sewer? I don't know. Why do they hang out? Why? Why? What's the What's Ooh. the point? Maybe it's... you can challenge him to a boxing match. Nope, not doing that. Come on, it's time for the return of Rim Job. No. The client is the new Reno Boxing Enthusiast Club. Facebreaker is a cheating shit. He was supposed to take a dive during the match with Pretty Carl, but I guess that wounded his pride because he strapped a ballistic fist on under his boxing glove. <laughs> How? And blew Carl's head open as soon as the match started. Two can play at that game. Damn. Some vagrant types reported that Patrick is hiding out in the sewers somewhere under Vegas. Have fun with that. He cheated, but not in the way we wanted him to. Uh, all right. Don't mind us. Oh, hey, I found some sewers. Who's got a pry bar to open this? Eh, just use one of your guns. Buddy Chicken, does your high-powered magnet pick one up? Oh, a crowbar? <laughs> Those will work. That's good enough. Is it though? Okay. Tweezers will work. I just gotta get, I just gotta jam it in there and just pry it open a little bit. How about that? They did work. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, God, my pit boy's blocking my, there we go. You gotta watch out for some demonic rats down here in the sewers. There's a lot of rodents of unusual size down here. Ooh. I kinda like to get late after a fight. Everyone there's okay? a lot of creepy things down here. That, there's, a of, there's a lot of gross stuff in the sewer right now. That radiation's affecting things. He's fine. You know, Rat, I guess I never noticed before, but I like how you got the Timex Indiglo for eyeballs. <laughs> that was an interesting change you made there. I can't believe I'm wasting- You know, there I shouldn't be wasting magnum shells bitch. on these rats. I should be using normal shells and then use the magnum shells on our client. That would make sense. And by client, I mean victim. victim. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Hello! Fuck you! Stupid pit boy. <laughs> He's probably not in this section of the sewers where all these thousands of abominations are. Rats and monsters and Well, that wolves. would be the last place anyone would look for him! Shut up! Are you, um... Those fiend junkies over at Vault 3 been taking yeah, some Yeah, 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 the fiend junkies over at Vault 3, I know. Okay, so no monsters down here. You want to keep that great shut. Excuse me, looking for a boxing dude? Won't have to worry about those fiend assholes for oh, some time I know, now. the fiend assholes. Maybe this guy? Evening. I see by your power fist that you must be some type of boxer. Hold on. <laughs> really? 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 You come crawling down into the fucking sewers, see a guy, and decide to chat him up? Yeah. What are you, some kind of fucking pervert, huh? Come down here and start talking to strange men? You wanna suck my dick, huh? 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 you fucking disgusting. I should punch a hole in your head, you fucking degenerate shit. So come on, we doing this shit. Fight me, bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, chill out, dude. That's it. I'm gonna punch you until your entire <laughs> fucking head is paced. Okay. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. That guy had some steroid issues. And a lot of, he had a lot of bravado and not a lot of common sense. So it's called steroid issues. I suppose so. He was mad that he took too many steroids to make himself all big, and it made his balls tiny. And the tiny balls made him angry, which is it's just a positive feedback loop. The anger kept building. Yeah. I bet if you had an unarmed skill, you could have challenged him to a boxing match. He punched the guy's face off in the last boxing match. I'm not really going to try to engage in a fair fight with him. Maybe don't attempt that. Welcome back. Uh, Patrick's dead. Hooray. Easy cash. Hooray! Yes, hooray. Welcome back. Did you actually pay us, though? Are you just taking our money and not giving us a payout? 
Another contract, please. What in God's name is the Funky Charlie contract? It involves Kim Addicts living in and around the Vegas sewer network. That should give you some idea. Ah, more sewers! Some day-drinking hobo lunatic put this contract on my desk, but he also paid me in advance, so fuck it. I guess Charlie's gonna die. He will as long as we do our jobs. The day drinker. He's the the day drinker is the only hobo that can drink during the daytime. All the other hobo fear him. It's like Blade, but only it's booze. The day drinker. <laughs> Charles Funky Charlie Snyder. Contract is Ted Stevenson. I saw that creepy bastard Charlie again last night. He was dressed like a woman. He led his followers into the sewers to perform satanic. Rituals, eating babies and having blood orgies. They'll need to die or they'll kill everyone in the whole damn hobby. Oh, gross. He got sick all over this note. I have absolutely no fucking idea what this old drunk is on about, but I'll give him credit on two counts. Number one, he had the cash up front. Number two, there actually is name, a man named Funky Charlie hosting clandestine meetings with his weird little friends in the sewer. I won't turn down the paycheck, so off you go. There's a manhole directly in front of McCarran that should lead down pretty close to Charlie. Okay. And I want to go to Gun Runners. Okay. <laughs> I really just wanted to see Isaac. How are you doing, Isaac? Can I help you? Give me a tour of the factory. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. Fine, fuck you, Isaac. Came on all the way, all the way over here, all the way over here, just to see you and not to buy more 12 gauge ammo. Just to see you, and then you just blow me off. Won't even give me a tour of the factory. I was even going to give you a can of beans. Look. See? Can of beans right there. See that can of beans? <laughs> Fuck you, Isaac. That was your can of beans. Now you don't get it anymore. Welcome, sir or madam. Friendship ended with Isaac. Vendertron is my new best friend. I am ready to process our transaction. Got an AEK, got an AK-47, AK-74, AK-74U, AN-94, ASVAL. Ooh, I kind of want an AK-74U. It's a lot of AK weapons. I'm going to take an AKS-74U. Because it's for me. Ha 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 ha
and shooting grenades before they could be thrown over the trench. Supposedly, they would position them in the trenches, and if they thought, saw a grenade flying over, they would shoot the grenade out of the air. And you can do that! It actually does work! I guess? It would be incredibly difficult to do, and it basically means that you would have to just be standing there, like, if this is, if this is the, the wall of the, if, like, I'm down here, this is the wall of the trench. It means that I'm standing here for hours on end, looking for a grenade, looking for a dirt-colored thing to come flying out of a cloudy sky. You've got to be really on alert. As far as I know, I haven't seen any proof that that actually happened. Well, now we know the origins of skeet shooting. It was uh, to practice shooting down grenades as they came towards the trenches. N no. Let's go Mike. kill that bounty target. The <laughs> fuck did you get that info from? <laughs> Don't uh, tell people that. They're going to think it's real. <laughs> Ooh. The fire rate on this thing. That's a fast fire, whatever that is. That's a Suomi. Oh. Suomi means Finland. Oh, okay. Because it's a Finnish submachine gun. Oh, they, they nipped. Okay. Yeah. It's a KP-31. I freaking I, I, I love submachine guns. They're, sub, submachine guns are probably my favorite guns. Mm. And the Suomi is no exception because it's just a finish submachine gun. Open bolt. It's basically almost all submachine guns up until World War II are this, where it is tube with big metal thing that make bullet go pew. Okay. That, that's basically like all submachine guns up until post World War II are just tube. Uh, all right. What's the What's the named one? It's got a longer barrel. Okay. Oh, I don't think it has a stock either. If If this is what I think it is, you would insert the submachine gun into a porthole so that you could shoot out of inside a, a bunker. So that's why the the no stock and the longer barrel. So because the longer barrel is supposed to fit through a porthole, and then the no stock is so that you can just kind of wiggle it around and point it at whatever. Oh, that makes sense. Like yeah. you're firing from inside of a tank. Yeah. Or that tank doesn't move because it's a bunker. Yeah, basically. And which means that as cool as this thing is, I probably really won't use it very much because I would rather have a stock if I'm going to be carrying this around and actually using it. Yeah. God, I love submachine guns though. I know you. They're do. so they're so cool. It's interesting in that it has a replaceable barrel. So it's a submachine gun, right? Right. But it's kind of almost a light machine gun. Got and a quick it, change barrel, does yeah, it? Yeah, in that it has a replaceable barrel, and some soldiers were actually issued a second barrel to go with the gun that during long periods of firing, they could just swap out barrels for one that was cooler so to help their accuracy. Or also, if they slammed the first one in the hum door of a Humvee. Well, that's why it's got the barrel shroud around it. So when you slam it in the door of the Humvee, the barrel shroud gets bent and not the barrel. Ah. Uh, See? What, if you slam it hard enough, it bends both of them. Yeah, but that's that's why it has the barrel shroud, so that you only slam it a few times. And then you realize, oh, the door isn't closing. Yeah. That's a, that's a fast firing rate, but I don't think the actual Suomi's firing rate was that high. Well, let's appreciate one that does have a high firing rate then. Makes quick work of those rats. Ah, I love submachine guns. I am the beach shot that rat. No, how dare you, beans? <laughs> well, she was very you happy to die. Hey! Once that blows our iron, we need to kill literally everything else on the planet. Come this way, towards the uh -oh. choke point. Uh -huh. uh oh, I'm hit. Oh, got some bright followers. Oh, it's okay. That was Funky Charlie. Oh, okay. I didn't even get a chance to talk to them. They just all started shooting at me. Maybe they were insane. Or maybe they received a bit of uh, an errant round. Yeah, I think one or two of my rounds might have like skipped off. Or maybe I just shot one of oh, you know what it was? I shot one of their I shot one of their dudes. That's uh, why they got mad at me. Yeah, well, it's not our fault. They're hanging out down here with fiends. Yeah, you know what? Case of mistaken identity. Exactly, exactly. It's entirely their fault. I didn't even get to use my shotgun on them. I'm sad now. Well, go back in time and use your shotgun on them. Okay. All right, where is the guy I'm supposed to be talking to? Hello. What do you need? Uh, I want to talk to you about your cult. What do you need? A manicure. God, your fingernails are dirty. What the hell are you doing down here? You're interrupting our rituals. And if you're still here in five minutes, you'll interrupt the orgy too. <laughs> well, we are professional you orgy ruiners. Fuck it. We'll just include a blood sacrifice into tonight's ceremony. Say goodnight, fucker. But no, we're not into blood play. Stop it. Over here. Damn. Well, you gotta use your shotgun after all. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she went flying backwards like this was a 1980s movie. Holy shit. 
I did always, even when I was a kid, I thought that was really funny when people would get shot with like a shotgun in 80s movies and they would just go like, <laughs> like flying 100 feet backwards. I thought that was just absolutely hilarious. It is quite comical. I yeah. really committed to that bit too. My legs are broken. Ah. No. Well, that and before you say anything, yes, I got to watch 1980s really bad action movies as a kid. I had bad parents. All right. Unfortunately, we're only going to get paid for one of these kills. You don't get paid twice for killing him twice. Uh, it's kind of a bummer, but... Nope. If we're know. lucky, he'll pay us once. Has he been paying us at all? I haven't been paying attention. Uh, you haven't been uh, paying attention. I should probably look into this. I have to balance our financial records by the end of the year. Okie dokie, tilly tilly. Welcome back. Funky Charlie is dead and... I guess he's buried. He's underground. Does that count as buried? Yep. Sorry you had to deal with whatever the fuck that was about. But maybe some money will make you feel better. Usually does the trick for me. I do enjoy money, yes. I like money. I feel like I don't think paid. he actually paid us. <laughs> maybe it'll pop up after this. I don't think so. Hello? Oh my god, Mike, I think they did actually follow us. Oh, the Legionaries, us. they follow us? Is that what's going Everyone on? Okay? Or is it uh, someone else? <laughs> One of the fiends followed us? Is what the? <laughs> With an egg time, buddy chicken. A jackal gang member. The jackal gang member was tr trying to ambush us. <laughs> I, I, she wasn't trying to ambush us. Eliza just killed a woman for trying to deliver the egg timer back to buddy chicken. Because he's a mechanical chicken, he needed the mechanical egg. Oh, okay. Same. Yeah. All right. Sh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What the? Shall we, uh... What the fuck is that? You know what? No, don't tell... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me what it is. I love the brutal simplicity of bolt with a fixed firing pin. No, I'm not saying that all submachine guns are like that. Obviously, because there are some submachine guns that are, like, hammer-fired. Wouldn't want to make a broad generalization, no. no. Also, or a generalization about broads. I don't want to do either one. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Eliza's like, man, I fucking hate death claws. The only thing I hate more than death claws are stinky death claws that are friendly. At least normal death claws have the balls to kill you, and I'm just like, uh, and she goes, it's right behind me, isn't it? 